Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another frugal vlog. As you can see, we are down by the walking bridge today. We're gonna take a wander through downtown. Thought I'd do another weekend jaunt down through it. Get a feel for what I'm gonna be missing, if you wanna know the truth. Now that it's getting closer and closer to the time that I'll be heading off, it's becoming more and more prevalent. Hello. It's becoming more and more prevalent that I will not be here for an extended period of time. And since this is my hometown, and I moved back here almost a year and a half ago now. And I've loved it. I've really enjoyed my time here. Um, that's the thing is like, I don't know if this is going to be a permanent move or temporary. So that uh, I want to document as much as I can. And I tend to walk down here all the time. This is honestly, when I first moved here, I walked down, there's a trail that comes down the bridge here and it goes up towards the university. And it's, they've converted all the old train tracks into walking trails and whatnot. <clears throat> so I found it and I wandered it and brought me down here. And uh, I absolutely love this, uh, this section of town. And as you can see, there's the church again. <coughs> I do love this place. Over here is the river. So just thought I'd bring you guys along on one of my little walks and yak and talk and process some stuff. So again, I do want to thank anybody that comes out and checks out these videos because it means the world to me. Uh, and this place means the world to me, if you want to know the truth. Uh, born here 55 years ago. The city has changed a fair amount. But it still feels the same, which is something that's important for me. It still feels like home, which is uh, not something I can say about many places I've been. I have done a lot of traveling, a lot of moving, and uh, I think that's kind of why I'm looking to do this next step in my life, heading overseas for who knows how long. The, the initial plans are anywhere between six to eight months. Um, maybe longer, depending on how it feels, how it goes. It could become a once in a lifetime trip or the move for the rest of my life. So I don't know. It is a bit of a quandary for me, to be honest. And I'm really excited and nervous. Probably more, I don't know. As I'm getting closer, the nerves are picking in. The excitement is definitely there. It's just that unknown, right? Because I don't know what this is gonna be like. I don't know how I'm gonna to react to being overseas and being on my own and all of my support structures gone. So it's gonna be uh, interesting to say the least. But again, you don't take the challenges when they're offered to you and you don't have the opportunity to grow. So, and I've not been one to really shy away from opportunities in my life, which I'm uh, pretty proud of. I've had an interesting life because of uh, me taking the chances and the opportunities that I have. And you know, it's like, get up one day and you're like, I'm gonna go and do this and you go and do it. So. Weird when you heard somebody walking behind you. <laughs> you just don't know what's going on. It's just I heard that woman's shoes and I was just like, what? Okay, so. This is the part I always like. I always come down here. There's this little water fountain. 1956. A little bit older than me. Yeah, born in 68. So, 12 years older than me. <laughs> it's in better shape than me. <laughs> and this is Burns, the statue of Burns here. 
which I've put in vlogs before. And then over here we have Beaverbrook. I don't know enough of the history to talk about it, so I won't. I just know that there's an art gallery and other bits named after him, so fairly important person apparently here. Here we go. Let's see what it says. University of New Brunswick. 1879, is that what it says? The eight looks like a three. Hard to tell. So normally, I would walk down this trail. You know what, we'll do the part of it. I'll walk down part and then we'll come along. Because over here is more of the government buildings and whatnot that we have. And this is the Beaverbrook Art Gallery, which I still need to go to. <laughs> I'm actually waiting to go to that once I have uh, completed my job. I want to, uh, I think it's going to be my celebration for myself, my last day of work, because um, I have a really good memory there as a child, and I want to go and relive it on a day that could be really good. Or really bad so I want to uh, make sure that it either accentuates the feelings or obliterates the bad ones so that's uh, that's the intention plus I love art galleries always have and I'm very curious about what they have in there when I lived in Toronto years ago uh, the museum and the art gallery would have free days every now and again or you know after a certain time in the day you can go in and either at a discounted rate or free, and ooh, I love that. I used to just go, <laughs> just go and, you know, I'd have like an afternoon off or an evening, and I would just go to the museum or the gallery just to go and appreciate it, and, you know, other people were out going out for dinners and socializing and getting ready to go to clubs and whatnot. I was going to the galleries. I've done enough of the club stuff myself. I have spent a considerable number of years working in and around nightclubs and all that. So, bartender for a number of years, a DJ. I have done a lot. It's, uh, I'm done with it. I don't have any interest in the club scene at all. I still like music. I still like dancing. I just don't like the... Uh, the booze, not my honest opinion. I quit drinking a number of years ago, and it's not part of my life. It's not something that uh, I even care about. Like it doesn't even register. But because there's a culture that goes along with the nightclubs and the alcohol and all that, I'm like, yeah. And it's hard too when you uh, when you bartend and you see people on a regular basis and you see them coming in all happy, and then you see the ramifications of the evening, and it's like, ooh, yeah. When you're sober and you watch people making bad decisions, it's rough, it's really rough. So, yeah, the trail continues down for quite a piece. Uh, it's quite a few kilometers, I'd say two, three kilometers of trail, just through the downtown area. You can go for quite a piece, and I like it, I do it quite a bit. But today, I'm not taking all of it. This is some of the outdoor artwork that we have here for the art gallery. And I like walking through this. This is one of my, either I walk this way or that way. I will wander through. That man needs a pair of shorts. <laughs> I don't care. It's all good to me. Expression in art is fine. Ooh, why have I not seen this coming? It does look like a flounder. I don't know if those are around here. <laughs> well, obviously not. I think it's an ocean fish and we were pretty much landlocked here. <laughs> we we're quite a piece away from the ocean. I like these too. The mechanical look. I dig that. Don't know what they'd be used for, but I like that. 
And of course, anytime I get a chance to see a lion statue, as a uh, person that was born in July, as a Leo, presented by the Honorable Thomas Temple. On or honorable? I'm assuming honorable. Couldn't make it, could not pay for all the extra words, I would assume. This is the playhouse we have here. Put on quite a few presentations. I get notifications on them all the time. I follow them on social media. I follow a lot of the, uh, the local stuff. This is the, well, this is a Crown Plaza, and this used to be the Beaverbrook Hotel. Or it is the Lord Beaverbrook Hotel. See that on the awning there? But it's also known as the Crown Plaza. If the name has changed, I don't know. I don't know if they go by both. Doesn't matter to me. The Hilton, I do not recall. That uh, most likely is a newer construction. I don't know what would have been there. I know there used to be a theater, like a, a movie theater down here. I think it was further run down. I used to go to it as a kid. It's gone long, long, long time ago. I have no idea where it would be or what it is now. I do know that one of these buildings here, coming up on the right, my grandfather worked in. He worked as a collector of customs, I think was a term that he had. And uh, I think that was his title. I don't quite know what the official position was or anything like that. But I do know that he quite enjoyed his job. And he was uh, an interesting gentleman. I uh, had the good fortune as a child to move back here. When my grandfather was getting up in age, both my grandfathers, my parents moved my sister and I back to Fredericton so we could become familiar with them. And uh, I'm very, very thankful for that because I got to meet two very amazing men in my life that both left an impression on me that continues on to this day. So I think it is pivotal for me of how they treated me and the man I am today. So this is the Fredericton Federal Building. So this may be the building that he worked in. I am not too sure. Anything is possible. But uh, we will continue on down. This is King or Queen Street? I gotta double check. I think it's Queen. It is Queen. This is one I tend to walk down. The next street up is King. But yeah, I do like the fact that it's uh, an older city. It's kept a bunch of its uh, charm and some of the older architecture. Some new stuff mixed in, obviously. Kind of hard not to have both. Okay. Go across. While I wait. So yeah, that next set of lights up there, that is King Street. Not freaking out as much as I normally do around people, so this is good. I haven't clammed up yet. It usually happens. <laughs> I'll get, I've tried to do this a few times over the months, and every time I have lost my nerve at some point in the, uh, usually well before I get here. So this is a good sign for me. I gotta get over myself. I'm gonna be doing this a lot more once I get overseas. I'm digging the new setup a lot. I'm very happy with it. The fact that I have the two cameras makes uh, my editing a lot easier, a lot more fun. And, uh, yeah, just a good, good thing. So this has been under construction since I got here. This used to be a, like a park area. And then they've been doing renovations to update it and do all kinds of things. And I have no idea what it's going to look like when it's done. They have a picture up here of the intended look. That building over there, that is the, the museum. So... 
that is another one we'll be doing as well. Yeah, so this is the Officer's Square, it's called. And this is the intended look for it, which is uh, a far cry from its current state. <laughs> like I said, they have been doing this for over a year. So I know there's a building that they're putting over there. I'm assuming that they'll do a lot of outdoor concerts and stuff. They've had a lot of events that have always come down here. When I was younger, I used to do stuff here. But yeah, we will go and check out that museum one day. Running out of time, so I may have to do some of these things sooner than later. I might try to do that. I'll double check to see what their hours are. A lot of things here after Labor Day kind of stop. Like the, the, the weekend hours kind of stop and they just go to weekday, which I think is odd, but whatever. There must be something going on here because everybody seems to have their phones out. Probably some Pokemon Go thing. Who knows? But I've seen a lot more people than normal with their phones out looking at things when they're walking, so. Now, yeah, I'm pretty sure the theater was along here someplace that I used to go to. I have some good memories there. And some weird ones. Remember once we went to a, uh, a weekend matinee and they showed The Last Waltz, which was a uh, documentary about the band. And a good movie. I've watched it again since and I've loved it. <laughs> but when I'm 10 years old, I didn't understand anything that was going on. I didn't quite understand the, uh, the failings of people in rock and roll. So here's our Sports Hall of Fame. Not a place I will be going to. I have never had an interest in sports at all, ever. And there's way more people again with their phones. I may have to stop and ask somebody what the heck is going on. So uh, this area here, if you saw my video about the Garrison Night Market, this is that area. You know what? We'll head up over to the uh, the bridge, the walking bridge. And not a lot of traffic, so I can feel comfortable walking across here. This section I'm okay with. See, so this is the garrison. And so we can get this into the historical garrison area. This is a pretty cool spot. Lots of the art stuff done here. I dig, as we tend to. I've seen a lot of people on their phones. Is there something happening, like a Pokemon Go thing or? Okay. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out because I saw like a, like a ton of people wandering down there and I'm like, what is going on? We noticed a lot of people doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should start. <laughs> Have a good one. Cool. So, I was correct in it being a Pokemon Go thing. Hello. <laughs> this is the public library. I used to go to there a lot when I was a kid. Uh, bookworm. Love books. You know, not your normal kid. <laughs> Art galleries and, and uh, libraries were my thing, so I loved them. They were great. This was a wonderful library as a kid. Uh, it was new when I was a child. So, it's not so new anymore. But this section that we're going to, this kind of has a bit of a meaning for me. So, this street here used to be really, really busy because the main bridge that went from the other side of Fredericton, which we called Nash Ross Success, to the main part of Fredericton, there was only one bridge and it came right through the street. Um, so in the late seventies, when I lived here, they were intending to, you know, build a new bridge and tear down the old one. So there are still remnants of that old bridge 
on the river, but they've made a walking bridge across. And this whole section down here, you can see this was all, I don't recall there being a bunch of land here. So I'm assuming a lot of this was developed and reclaimed and uh, put there on purpose. I don't recall, but this road didn't exist. And as you can see off in the distance there, those are the, uh, the concrete and stone bits that are left over from the old bridge. And the new bridge is over there. And <laughs> as you can see, the width of this was not very wide. It was memory serving, it was two lanes. So one going north, one going south. And then coming right into the downtown, it jammed up all the time. So putting in a new bridge, new road system, and developing it made a lot of sense. But uh, oh, what a fun time. This was fun. Yeah, so this is Fredericton. Not too picturesque, not a lot of tall buildings. I like it, like I said. For me, it's more of an important thing because it's my home. Hometown, I guess I should say. And I love the fact that it has stayed quaint and lovely and the people here are delightful. You know, just even stopping and talking to those gentlemen real quickly, asking about Pokemon Go. Lovely, people here are great. And I'm gonna end things here standing on the St. John River. I'm going to continue walking on down that way. It continues on past those buildings and down past the old hospital. And then there is a uh, hotel that it comes out of. And then I can wander up there, go to the store, pick up some groceries, and then wander back home through Odell Park. But I do want to thank anybody, everybody, that comes in and checks out my videos. Greatly appreciate it. End of the video, got to say it again. If you do like my content, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Every little bit helps, and it is always greatly appreciated. But uh, once again, I'm Sean, the Frugal Wanderer, and I will see you all very soon in our next one. Take care, buddy. Bye.